Hey everybody and welcome back to another Unprofessional Unbox. I'm one of your hosts, I'm Joe Gigatti, and today we're gonna check out this bad boy right here. This jukebox. <laughs> This is the Art & Sound LED Lights Wireless Jukebox. No quarters needed, that's my favorite part. And I got this for 80 bucks over Big Lots. I actually had a coupon, save 15%. Sign up for the Big Lots rewards and you'll get coupons in your inbox. Occasionally, I liked it because uh, we got the LED lights and I'm not sure if it's all speaker or if it's just designed like that, but it's got a nice uh, tall build to it. And uh, let's look in the box and see what's inside. On the top here, we have cables, okay. This is the wall plug. It's not a charger because this isn't battery operated. This is operated by plug only. Underneath the top foam, we have the actual jukebox. Now that we took off that condom and the foam, here's the speaker here, nothing else in the box. You got some weaved fabric there. Uh, the cardboard or the, well, it's not really wood. Is that a scratch? No, nope, that's just some glue there. But this wood is kind of just like particle board. It's really light. Uh, it's not very heavy duty, so you kind of got to be careful with it. Make sure it doesn't drop. Make sure the kids don't uh, bang it up against the wall. I don't know. Don't Just don't be the Fonz and try to beat it and try to get the music going that way. And if we look at the back of the unit, it's got some kind of compartment here. I guess this is for the plug. So if you don't wanna keep it plugged in the whole time, you just wanna store it, it goes there. Um, we have the audio inputs there. We have an auxiliary two port, an on and off switch. And what is this for? Is this to Hook up additional speakers. I guess we can daisy chain additional speakers this way. And we got a little hole down there. What's that down there? No, it's just a hole. All right, let's plug it in and uh, see how it sounds. This on off button over here feels a little chintzy. It's lit up and made a little, little crackle noise. I don't know if I should worry about that yet. I'll put on a, a song. And uh, I'll see how it is. A remote. So we can be away from the unit, change the volume, skip songs if we need to. And it actually comes with a auxiliary cord, which is always good. I mean, I got plenty around the house, but you can never have enough auxiliary cords. They're like socks, they disappear. So it wasn't working at first. A little upset, I thought I got a dud, but then I figured out you actually need the remote. So do not lose this remote if we can get it in focus um, it says mode here so you got FM radio then you have Bluetooth and auxiliary and I had to hit mode a couple times to get an auxiliary and that bag in the back is to hold your phone it's to hold your device that makes so much more sense Let's try it without the lights. There is no rhyme or reason for the LED lights. They do not bounce to the music. You cannot change the LED lights. They just have to stay the way they are. The only problem I have is the bass. There's like a lot of bass in there and I want to pull the bass back a little bit. So maybe I'll have to check the instructions. I know, I know. I don't like checking the instructions. I don't like reading the instructions, but I have to find out a way to maybe get that bass down. So let me look at it just a moment and see if that's possible. Unfortunately, it doesn't say in the instructions, so it's not possible. So you know what? The instructions. So I downloaded a equalizer from the app store and that should work better for this. Let's check it out. 
Real quick update. Uh, yeah, I'm listening to it some more. It's a, a no go for me. Don't buy this thing. Even if it's on sale, don't get it. Not unless you want to buy it and then mod it and put better speakers in. Things trash. <laughs>